Welcome back, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel, everyone. And this is a message for Aquarius. Now, this is a Cancerian only channel. Those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Catherine, and I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. So, like I said, today's message is for Aquarius. We um, do go over all of the sign placements um, at least once a month on this channel. I try to get it in more than that, but at least once a month, I do all sign placements. I read for all 12 signs, right? But this is primarily primarily a Cancerian-only channel, okay? Um, but again, I read for all 12 signs. If you would like to um, book a reading with me, a personal reading, please reach out to me via my website. You can go online and book your reading with me, and you can also reach out to me as well on my website, All right? So check that out, please. The links are in the description box below. I do a giveaway every month on this channel that will be happening today as it is the first of the month. So every month on the first is when I announce the winner's to the monthly drawing. Everything that I give away for the monthly prizes is in the description box below. Please hashtag what you would like to win. And you don't have to do anything but be subscribed in order to be entered in the monthly drawing. Now I do a weekly giveaway where I will put your names into a drawing when I see it. And the only time I should see it is if you hashtag win or hashtag free reading in the comments. If you're leaving me a general comment, sometimes I'll still go ahead and throw your name in for the weekly drawing, okay? Um, but typically, I'm looking for hashtag win, hashtag free reading in order for you to be entered, okay? All right. So please, please make sure you're entering yourselves every time you see me upload a video and you can enter unlimited times, okay? So please make sure you guys are doing that. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Click on that watermark in the bottom right corner of your screen in order to do that. Um, and that's that. All right, let's get started, you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to my new channel, Tarot Talk Live. The link to that is below. All right. So Aquarius, I'm going to be keeping timestamps. So we're starting at 3.09 for Aquarius. We're gonna look at your energy. We'll look at your person's energy and then we will focus on Aquarius singles, okay? So I'm gonna pull one card from each of these Oracle decks starting with Spirit Shield Oracle. And then we will clarify with Spirit Shield Tarot over here, okay? All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Aquarius, clear the energy here. Hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing wealthy and well in this new year. Congratulations, 2023 is officially over, We're done with. Do you understand? We have slayed that dragon, do you understand? And it is gone. Now we are going to be in the process of building back, okay? All right, Aquarius. This is the age and the year of the Aquarius, so act like it. Act like it. It is now January, you guys. It is your time. Capricorn and Aquarius, it is your time. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Aquarius, please. What do we need to know, please? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Aquarius. And we have time in the spring in the reverse. Underneath the deck, we have the death card here. 
inheritance, a death, visit to a hospital, sick loved one, you will regret not saying goodbye. There could literally be an energy of someone that may be um, visiting uh, a member um, in the hospital, a family member or someone close to them. Um, or there could be an energy of someone may be leaving you an inheritance and you may be finding out about it. Um, there's an energy of um, this person. This is something that's already happened here with spring in the reverse. I feel like it's something that has already happened and you have yet to find out about this. Or this could be an energy of um, with spring in the reverse. This is almost like an energy of, uh, you know, kind of laying back or laying down, um, not springing. So like the energy of just kind of being kind of, you know, dull or dreary in a sense. Do you know what I mean? You think of springtime, you think of flowers blooming, things being bright, having a lot of energy. So someone could be getting sick um, in the spring. Brain. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, but I feel like there is also an energy of someone that's going to be doing something, leaving something behind, okay? Um, and I feel like it, you won't have until spring to do this. There's an energy of not waiting till the spring away from or transitioning from. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about Aquarius. Holy Spirit. Okay. And we have let go. Look at this. Let go. I'm telling you. It says, sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing. So there is something that you need to let go of that you're holding on to. Maybe you're saying, um, I'll hold on to this until the springtime. But there's an energy of you need to let go of it before the springtime comes because there's going to be something else um, that needs your attention. And if you're holding on to that, you won't be able to focus on this. Under the deck, you have rekindle. So every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled. It's almost an energy of, you know, let go. And if this is real, it'll come back to you. Or it'll be there. It won't go anywhere type energy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm seeing an energy of needing to have faith and let go for right now. Okay, this is going to be necessary. So let's clear the energy here. We are on to something, Aquarius. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about Aquarius, please. You could be telling someone that you need to take a break for a while and that you'll come back after you've taken care of something for yourself. Uh-oh, that card just jumped out of the deck here. So we have engagement here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I'm telling you, there's something that you need to okay and this commitment is going to have to wait for a moment. Okay, Aquarius. What is the hidden truth here? What is it that you are not saying or that we don't see going on behind the scenes with you, Aquarius? Tell me about Aquarius. What is the hidden truth for Aquarius? Uh-oh. We both know I am not the one for you. Okay. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. There it is, Aquarius. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Okay. Okay, so the hidden truth here in this situation is that you are realizing that this person is not the one. You're taking a step back or there's an energy of needing to take a step back while this person wants to try to rekindle the connection. Okay, with engagement here, you may let this person know I have other commitments elsewhere um, that are going to take my time and attention and I need to be able to focus on this. Under the deck, it's time for me to heal now. And this may be what you tell this person or there's some sort of inner work that you need to do with yourself, you're just not ready. You're just not ready and you're letting this person know, I am not the one for you, not now, maybe later, okay? I'm getting this maybe later energy. I keep hearing not now, but later, maybe. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and clarify here. And let's look under the deck here for engagement. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So you may need your friends to help you kind of um, get this person's attention off of you for a while, or maybe to explain to this person that there's something that you need to do. Maybe you need to break away from this person and let them take care of telling this person because you know they're going to have a hard time letting you go. I don't know. There's something where your friends are going to come in and be of assistance, okay, in breaking you away from this um, person's energy, okay? All right. You may have a wingman out there assisting you, okay, and letting go of this character. Tell me about spring in the reverse and death, the death card here. Tell me about spring time and in the reverse and the death card here. Something is definitely ending where you're needing to let go of something. Tell me about spring in the reverse. Ooh, got two cards here. The three of pentacles and the page of swords. So this is an energy of someone who is, um, it's like they're starting to ask questions about the connection here, um, or they're, it's like maybe this person is um, asking questions of, of a professional, someone that is like neutral to the situation, it may be a counselor. Um, so this person may be going to get some sort of a, um, I don't want to say therapy, but guidance on how to proceed. Okay, so maybe you don't necessarily know how to let go or need some sort of advice from someone. Knight of Swords under the deck here. So this talks about a decisive moment or needing to make a decision very quickly and I feel like you need some assistance. You don't want to make a mistake, okay? Or maybe you just need to know about how to go about it with the death card. There's an energy of needing to know how to go about letting go of this connection, how to walk away. You got the death card twice with let go. So again, this is definitely something you know you need to do here, okay? Um, but with rekindle here, I mean, maybe you're wondering if perhaps you might be able to rekindle the connection someday. So you tell this person this. You're giving this person some sort of hope. Tell me about let go and rekindle. Look, the world in the reverse. This is an energy of something that can't come back together. Um or there's an energy of, you know, no matter what you try to do, there's an energy of this thing is ending. So you may as well let go of it gracefully. You know what I mean? And uh, 
And if it's going to work out at a later time, then maybe it will with the King of Swords under the deck and the Justice card. It's like if this person is going to come back, okay, and you both have a opportunity to have a connection together, a soul tie connection, um, and it does work out, then so be it. Do you know what I mean? Um, but if there's an energy, this person is going to be, you know, leaving in this energy and not coming back, you have to be prepared for that. Letting your friends help you. Maybe it's difficult for you to break away from this. Maybe you were engaged to this person. We have the hanged man here. So again, there's an energy of leaving this person hanging. I'm getting a strong feeling of a lot of you are going to be leaving and like your friends are going to be breaking the news to this person. Um, so maybe you were engaged. You might be even leaving this person at the altar, you guys. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Or the energy of needing to let go of this before you get to the altar. I feel like some of you are engaged. Okay, we have engagement here. Let your friends help you. Under the deck, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. There's going to be a, a massive upheaval. You're gonna, this is talking about a sudden change. Okay, you're making a decision to go in a different direction. All of a sudden, there's going to be a lot of upheaval with that Eight of Swords in the background. Like somebody is going to feel like they have just been kicked out of the circle. You know what I mean? It's going to be hard. It's time for me to heal now. We both know I am not the one for you. So I feel like this is what you're telling this person. Um, and that it's time for you both to heal. So tell me about this. It's like an energy of, you know, you recognize that you can be better off elsewhere. Or, you know, especially right now, because I'm just not ready. I'm really, like, not ready right now. My head is still in the clouds. I still have a lot of things that, I'm, that I want to do. I, I have, you know, a lot of dreams that I want to see fulfilled. I'm just not ready yet. Ace of Pentacles here. Like, I'm just getting started on my journey. Okay, so... That is your energy. Okay, Aquarius. Now moving on to your person's energy at 1808. All right. Aquarius's person. Tell me about Aquarius's person, please. Holy Spirit. I want about okay so we got the card it will happen it's the right decision and it's the answer you've been seeking gift expression of love large sum of money favor given or received being appreciated there's an energy of somebody is going to be giving you something a gift um i feel like this is something that you are wanting um something you've been waiting for, um, you're going to feel very, very happy about this gift when you receive it, okay? So this could be a literal gift, okay? Or you could be feeling very happy about, you know, this person, or this person could be feeling very happy about the connection they have with you. Do you know what I mean? Okay, something about... Um, getting something that maybe they feel like they don't deserve, okay? Under the deck, cleansing. Protection, spells, crystals, salt bath, shower. This person may be manifesting you in their space. I feel like this person is literally cleansing. They're trying to get ready for their person to come in, their soulmate, and they're manifesting this gift before it even comes. Okay, and you have protection here behind this person. So I feel like this person is divinely guided, whatever it is that they're doing here. 
but they are um, actively pursuing a uh, soul tie connection. Yes. Or uh, I'm sorry, Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius's person. Soul spirit, angels, and tie. Tell me about Aquarius's person. Okay, so we have union here. The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. However, I feel like this person has been planning for it to happen. And I feel like as soon as this person kind of forgets about it, I feel like that's when it's going to come in. Intense under the depth. The intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows. I feel like there's an energy of being very confident. And as soon as this person just gives up and feels like, okay, they're never going to come, that's when this person is going to come in. Okay, or maybe this is when you're going to give in to this person, just when they give up on you. Okay. Um. Yeah, but your person is manifesting you. So you may meet this person and think, oh, I've met this person. This is the one for me. They just don't know it yet. They're thinking the same thing about you. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Ooh, attraction. I'm telling you, this is going to be a very mutual, um, passionate situation where you're attracted to each other. You're going to be drawn. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So you're going to be doing something and having such a good time doing it and not noticing that someone is watching you. And that's going to be this person. Under the deck, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So you may be going to counseling, I feel, and I feel with every session, you shed some skin from the past. Some childhood situations are going to be kind of, you know, let go of, and you're going to leave them where they are and learn how to enjoy this moment fully, okay, and take advantage of it. So this is beautiful energy for you, Aquarius. Let's look at the hidden truth, okay, behind your person here. Let's look at the hidden truth here behind this person. What are they manifesting? It says, I hid who I really am from you. Okay, so this person knows that they are not being there a hundred percent. They're not showing all their cards. You know what I'm saying? They're being a little bit, um, I don't want to say insecure, but I'm going to say guarded. They're in that four of pentacles energy here. Under the deck, I know I messed up everything and I want you. I feel like this person is nervous. This is all about confidence here. And I feel like this person feels like they're going to do something um, to mess it up because that's what they always do. And they really, really want you, kids. And they're extremely attracted to you, but they're not telling you this. Very intense energy this person feels already. So let's clarify. So tell me about gift and yes and cleansing under the deck. This person is manifesting. And we have the nine of wands. So this is someone who has been working really hard and in making improvements on themselves. So with cleansing here, this person is getting themselves ready. It's like they're making themselves ready for their bride to come in under the deck, 10 of swords. So this is talking about an ending, but it is also representative of a new beginning. They're done with that old person, okay? They're done with, you know, things constantly failing and ending, and they want something that's going to be long-lasting with that nine of wands. That nine of wands is persistent. 
It's long lasting cancer. And the Empress here, hello. That's what I'm talking about. Um, they want something that's going to be abundant, that's going to be long term, very fruitful. You know what I'm saying? So let's clarify union and intent. They want this union to be something that's very intense, that's going to last a long time. True soul connection here. Great highs and great lows. Can you stand the rain and the pain? And look, we have the star in the reverse. Do you see what I'm saying? And this is classic energy. And you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Hello. You could be dating another Aquarius here. But this is that energy of how are you going to act when things don't look so good? You know what I'm saying? Are you going to give up easily? Or are you going to hold on to hope? Here, which is what Aquarians are good at. With the two of swords under the deck, are you going to break under these difficult, decisive moments? Do you see what I'm saying? Are you going to cut and run or am I going to be able to depend on you for the long term? This is what this person really wants. Tell me about attraction with forgiving and learning. So maybe there's an energy of um, letting go of some things that from their childhood, maybe they didn't see their parents work things out, but they are extremely attracted to you, or there's something that reminds them of this love that their parents once had, but then it also went bad. So this person is kind of needing to forgive that energy of the past, learn from it, move from it. You see what I'm saying? Don't be stuck in it. With the page of wands this is somebody who's fearless somebody who's extroverted meaning they're ready for something new they're ready for a new idea something that's going to be happy you know what i'm saying a new future or um they're looking forward to doing something new with you okay not repeating the mistakes of the past do you see what i mean under the deck, the five of wands. See, there's an energy of not being so focused on conflict and, you know, competition and going back and forth. There's an energy of wanting to do something different with that judgment card. You're making a judgment call to stand up and do something different. All right. So again, this person has an energy of feeling like they're always messing everything up because they keep Going back to the past, okay, I hid who I really am from you. So maybe there's an energy of opening up. I said this person's going to talk to you. A counselor, maybe they want you to go with them. Tell me about this, please. Okay. Your card wanted to come out. Four of Cups. See, this person pulled back emotionally because they were afraid they were going to ruin things. So they did. They pulled back their energy. They even went as far as to separate from you and say, hey, I need to work on myself for a while. So maybe that was your person's energy more so than yours. Okay. Under the deck, the chariot. See what I mean? And there's an energy of coming back to you or moving forward decisively. You're making a decision and, you know, you're going for it with all you know. You know what I mean? With the Queen of Swords, there's an energy of not making any mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Not taking back anything that you're doing because you're doing it for, you know, your best interest. And this is your person's energy. So, again, this is them trying to look out for you and the situation in its entirety. So, good energy. Either way it goes, Aquarius. So let's go ahead and look at Aquarius singles at 29.39. Okay. Tell me about Aquarius singles, please. And we have stability. You will feel safe. Things will feel secure. 
long-term relationships and stable investments. So some of you are newly single and maybe you're concerned about how things are going to go. Um, there's an energy of wanting to be sure that you're going to be secure in the long term. You know what I mean? Like you did save up money for the move, but how are things are going to go six months from now when you have depleted all of those funds? Okay. Marriage under the deck. There's an energy of, you know, wanting to be careful that you don't jump right into another commitment. Okay. I feel like it says commitment here and shopping for a ring. So I feel like some of you are already in the energy of you know, looking for that next person or scoping this person or having an expectation. And there's an energy of just needing to be stable. You will feel safe. You're not going to feel as though you have to jump right into a connection. So there's an energy of trusting this. Okay. Trusting that energy. Tell me about Aquarius singles, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and heavens. Okay. And we have cherish, cherish your relationship. So there's an energy of really needing to cherish the relationship that you currently have. And guess what? The most important relationship you, you have is the one you have with yourself. How do you take care of yourself, treat yourself? That is how the person that comes to you is going to regard you, okay? Under the deck, emotions. Look deep within your emotions. So take this time out in your newly singlehood to really feel those feelings that you're feeling, understand what they mean, and heal from those that you need to heal from. Do that shadow work or replenish some emotions that maybe you have not been able to feel, Okay, you may have had some energy vampires that were kind of keeping, steal them away. So needing to cherish that, take long showers with yourself, you know what I mean? Um, and just really cherish the moment that you have with yourself and be thankful for the peace. You see what I mean? So you're going to be very peaceful. Aquarius. Oh, look at that. This could be the one just shot out here. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, so some of you may already know this person. It could be someone that is, um, that you, you know, is a friend of yours. Maybe you don't expect it, so you're not looking for this person. Um, and likely with you really being into a lot of self-care, you may be attracting someone who is close to you. Um, look, past life relationship. You have known each other before. This can be you know somebody that is looking at you in this way. Okay, they want you and they want you bad. Okay, they want you and they want you bad, but they know that this is your time to yourself. And this is one of the most romantic energies I can think of. This person is like watching you and wanting you. Do you know what I mean? But you don't even know it. How romantic is that? Or creepy, depending. Tell me about Aquarius's singles here. What is the uh, hidden truth here? Oh, that flipped out in the reverse. I wish things could be different in the reverse here. So there's an energy of, you know what, you are making no apologies for where you are in life right now. This is what it is right now. It's what's best for you and it works for you. You see what I'm saying? And anyone that cares about you, loves you, wants to be with you, is meant to be with you, is going to be down with it. I wish I could share my good news with you. See what I'm saying? There's an energy of you know, if you can embrace it, I can share it with you. But if I feel as though you're hating on me and my energy, I'm going to have to keep it to myself because I want to keep it. Do you see what I'm saying? Protecting your energy, not letting energy vampires steal it. Okay, Aquarius, tell me about stability and marriage, please. 
beautiful point talking about stability in marriage. And you have the emperor. See what I'm saying? You will feel safe, homie. Oh my MG. Look at how beautiful this is. The emperor. You feel safe. You feel secure. Stability here. And this is also a card that talks about marriage here. You know what I mean? So you're going to feel as though you are married, okay, to yourself. Do you understand? And you are going to be as loyal to you as you could, anybody else could possibly be. Temperance under the deck. You are married to the divine. Do you understand? This is a divinely guided energy, period, point blank. And the emperor is also high up on the charts as well. This is, that's divine masculine energy here. Divine masculine and the divine here with temperance under the deck, gorgeous energy. And by the way, this is also someone who is very calm, okay? They're, they're secure. They know what tomorrow is going to bring because they've secured it for themselves. Do you see what I'm saying? That is the bomb here. Tell me about cherish and emotions. Well, ace of wands. So this is a lot of emotions coming in. Very passionate energy. Very passionate. Okay, and the Eight of Swords under the deck. So this is talking about putting up the blockade for the time being. You see what I'm saying with that devil behind the deck? This is the energy of I cannot be possessed. Okay, um, you can watch me from a distance. I have a fear of being trapped in a situation. With that Ace of Wands, I want to be free to do me. This is also the energy of Someone who has one night stands or who's just very free, you know, they meet someone and then they're off to meet someone new. Um, so very free energy here coming through. Tell me about this could be the one in past life relationship. So someone you know is watching you with the Knight of Wands and the Fool card. This is an energy of look. The Knight of Wands is someone who is a free spirit. They do what they want to do. They're not a bad guy. They're not a cheater. With the fool, this person just wants to try new things. Okay? They're not going to be there for long. You know this about this person. Very childlike energy. Very innocent. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but again, like I said, I feel like you are used to this or this person is used to this, especially if this is a queen. Under the deck here, the queen of wands. See, I feel like this has been a, I don't want to say a third wheel, but this has been someone who has been very close to you and your relationship. So this could be a best friend, someone you talk to about all of your relationships, but this person is all up in the middle of it, whoever this friend is, okay? Eight of Pentacles, you may work with this person, okay? Hmm. You may work with this person here, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. Tell me about, I wish things could be different in the reverse, and I wish I could share my good news with you. This is you not making any apologies and not really wanting to even Discuss it unless you know this person's going to be happy for you with the Hierophant. You know what I'm saying? You've learned your lesson. You're on a very, you're on a different level. You see what I'm saying? You have ascended. This talks about ascending, but this also talks about learning. Okay. And I feel like you have learned. You have ascended and you have learned and you think differently. You see what I'm saying? There's an energy of own. Only being able to talk to like-minded people, people that have the same morals, goals, same fabric, you know, embedded within them than you do, that you do. Under the deck, Ten of Cups, see what I mean? And this is when you know you can have ultimate bliss with your person. This is the person you know you want to come back to, the one that you want to ultimately have a family with and settle down with someday. The person you want to marry, Hierophant in the Ten of Cups. This is gorgeous. Okay, so you are looking for that, not right now. Right now, you're wanting to really focus on yourself. Okay, 
So I hope that energy resonates with one more or all of you. Um, very beautiful message for you, Aquarius. You showed up and you showed out. I love you guys so, so much. We will be going back with the earth sign, starting with Taurus, coming up in just a bit. Take care of each other. And yourselves, and I will see you back soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.